Gyroids are finally here in Animal Crossing New Horizons 2.0. These little items are super cute and they're quite the little dancers. Let's teach you everything you need to know about them. What's going on everyone? It's Abdali here back again with an awesome Animal Crossing tips and tricks tutorial video. Today's video is showcasing all 36 of the gyroids within the game and not only that, we're going to teach you exactly how to get them all, we're going to show you every single one by name and their unique actions, we'll show you the customization options and much much more. Thank you so much for watching, you guys are amazing. So that being said, if you guys have not already caught up with the YouTube channel right over here, we got tons of tips and tricks tutorial videos for Animal Crossing 2.0, and we're constantly working on a lot more. So as you can see over here, if we look at the playlist on board, we'll see that we just released a Brewster guide. So that'll teach you everything you know about Brewster. We did glowing moss, we did the gyroid hunts, we did absolutely everything. So definitely take a look at those. And while I have you over here, we do have the very, very cute Abdallah plush happening over here. So this campaign ends in about 17 days from the time of recording, so it is your last opportunity. Once these guys sell, sell out, they're gone forever, so make sure you grab a couple of them, okay? It'll make a great stocking stuffer for this upcoming holiday season. Anyway, let's jump into the gyroid tutorial. So in order to kick off this tutorial, we're going to teach you guys exactly how to get gyroids. And there's going to be two different ways. The very first way is unlocking Cap'n by doing the little Blathers quest as soon as you update to 2.0. Once you're available to go to any of the Cap'n Islands, you'll then be able to see that every single one of the islands has one gyroid fragment buried in the ground. Use your shovel to dig it up and then you'll be able to go back to your island. Once you go back to your island, all you have to do is bury it in the ground and then water it. Once you water it, you'll then see some smoke start erupting out of that little crack, which means that you have watered it and it's ready to grow for the next day. Fast forward to the next day, head on over to that exact spot, dig it out, and there you have it. It is a random gyroid. Now, it's going to be a little hard collecting all of these because there's so many different customization options and only 36 different types. So, you can get anywhere from over like 200 different kinds simply based off of their customizations. Now, the next way that you're going to be able to do it is paying attention to the rain. Now, once it rains on your island, you'll then be able to see that there are going to be cracks in the ground just like fossils. Now, as soon as you dig up one of these after it rains, you'll then see a fully grown gyroid over there. Those are the two ways that you'll be able to get any kind of gyroid within the game. If you're looking for specifics, you can absolutely customize them, and we'll show you the customization options a little bit later on in the video. So one of the cool things about gyroids is the fact that you can really put them anywhere inside your house. And yeah, that's a bubbloid in a bathtub. He is so cute. So as you can see over here, we do have the Brewster just chilling on the ground, which is fine. You can go up to it. You can press the A button in order to turn it on so it can dance along with the music, or you can press the A button to turn it off. Likewise, if you go to the wall space, you'll be able to then grab any single gyroid that you want and slam it right on the wall. See this bubbloid over here? It's anywhere. It's so cool. It comes with a customized shelf and you can make an entire wall of your 36 different ones. Now, that being said, the developers did not program any collision detection with them, so you can easily clip into them, move your character in there, or you can kind of shape up any kind of furniture so that you can legit have a gyroid float inside a piece of furniture, just like this right over here, and he's just having a great time in the bathtub, having a little bubble bath. So anyway, come up with some creative ways of utilizing gyroids and clipping into furniture, and let me know what you come up with down below. All right, so here we are. This is going to be all the gyroids. I got them set up in the house in alphabetical order. It's going to be fun to take a look at them. So that being said, we're going to put on your favorite song, and then we're going to jam out and show you guys exactly what kind of sounds they all make and what kind of dances they have. So let's jump into it.
So I know you guys saw the Brustoid on board in the intro and of course in the showcase of the gyroids. Now you're wondering how to get them. It's super simple. Actually, it's going to take you a long time, but it is very simple. If you have the time and dedication for it, you have to go through Brewster and get a cup of coffee every day for 51 consecutive days. And then he'll give you his Brewstoid. Now in this game, there's only one. In the previous games, there were about like three of them, tall one, short one, etc. So. This is all we're getting, but it is still very cool to show this off to your friends that you've done the work and you've gotten 51 plus cups of coffee. All right, now that we've seen every single one of them and their awesome dances and sounds, let's show you all of their customization options. This is gonna be really fun because you're gonna be able to see all 36 of these guys and see how you're going to be able to fit them in with the aesthetic of your rooms and or your islands. So let's take a look at them in alphabetical order, shall we? Here we go. The only one that sticks out that's not customizable is going to be the Brewstoid. Go figure. All right. So first up, Aluminoid. Aluminoid. Ooh, look at this. Silver, copper, blue, black. Ooh, very nice. Next up, Arphoid, my little puppy. All right, my little puppy can be yellow, brown, green, pink, and blue. Cute. All right, we got the, what is it, the Babaloid? Babaloid. Wow, look at the little polka dots on it. Okay. I'm oh, white looks really good with like rainbow colored polka dots. Yes, please. All right, Bendoid. Oh, wow, it looks like an ice cream cone in orange, brown, blue, and gray looks really fun. Bloopoid. Here we go. Wow, that is my favorite color right there. I love the blue one. Oh, I love the little spots on him too. Next up is Boyoing going going going. Boy Yoing guy, Goid. <laughs> he kind of looks like uh, a little Danny DeVito, doesn't he? All right, either way, looks cool. Uh, Boomoid. Boomoid. Wow, look at this. So yeah, I do like uh, like the face colorations near him. That's good. Little face details. Uh, Bubloid. Oh, I love Bubloid so much because it looks like Kirby. And if you do the pink one, it's absolutely Kirby or like a white Kirby. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. Boongoid. All right, cool colors. I like them. Next up is Clatteroid. Oh yeah, this one's fun for like the little kids room if you have one, because it's all rainbow colored and this one looks really great in pink. I would say pink is my favorite one. Crumploid. Yo, this thing is crumpled up. Look at its face. Do you remember when it was dancing in the video earlier? Oh, I felt so bad for it. Next up, Dutoid. Oh, I love this one. This one looks like a little alien. I love it. In a little alien in a dress. White looks phenomenal. Oh, and the black and the blue eyes too. Drumoid, by far, had the best like beats along with KK Bubblegum. Absolutely did. So yeah, the hi-hat, the little snare drum. Really one of my favorite ones to add to a room. Flutteroid. Uh, wow, orange. And you can see the little armband changes color too, based off of what color hair it is. I love it. Little accent there. Jingloid. Ooh, yeah, this one's gonna be really fun for the upcoming holiday season, for sure. Put down any holiday music and just watch that thing jingle. Laseroid? Ooh, yeah, this one looks good. Looks like one of those uh, aliens from Toy Story a little bit there. Oinkoid, a little piggy. <laughs> I love the little scrunched face of the, of the oinkoid whenever it made a noise. That was really cute. Petaloid. Oh, yeah, opening up of the petaloid. Yeah, I'm curious of what the interior flower looks like on all these different colors. That'll be really fun. Ooh. Wow, this one looks like something that you would put out for Halloween. I'm surprised there's not one in orange, right? Like a pumpkin? I guess brown would kind of be it, right? You put that outside and you're like, oh my gosh, that's not a pumpkin, that's a rataloid. All right, ringoid was interesting. Again, looks kind of like an alien over here. Uh, it looks kind of sad with the letter T on his head. I don't really know too much about that, but cool design. Rumbloid. Ooh, yeah, this thing had a couple of cool dances. Oh, yeah, white and brown looks really good on Rumbloid. Next up is Scatteroid. Oh, I did like this little hula dancing one. Yeah, this was fun because you could put this right next to the actual hula dancing item in the game, and you're all set. Oh, yeah, and this one's really fun too with the spikes that come out. He could easily go right next to the hula one. And look at these like cheetah or giraffe. I was gonna say cheetah, but no, that's like totally giraffe right there, little spots. 
Sprungoid. Oh my gosh, this looks like straight ET phone home right here. Oh my gosh, ET phone home. My goodness, that's scary. Yo, you thought that one statue of the alien thing was scary? No way. Put that over there and you'll scare everyone. All right, so these Squeakoids, I love him. He's so cute. All right, next up is a Squeezoid. Yeah, Squeezoid looks like uh, the thing from the Fantastic Four. I think that's really fun. So get him in yellow, for sure. Stelloid, I love the shape, the slender alien look of this. Totally good. Oh my gosh, white looks great and black, man. Oof, wow. All right, Thwopoid. Thwopoid looks like one of that, that nasty looking fish. I don't know what the name of it is, but there's a fish that looks exactly like that. It's got the frowny, it's got like a fat nose. <laughs> What's the name of that, that ugly looking fish? Anyway, you can type an ugly fish into Google and you'll be able to see it. Uh, this one is a, a Tacoid. Oh, this looks like a kid's toy. Oh, and a little clown too. Look at that one. Oh, the cute one is great. Mm, absolutely. All right, we've got the Tremoloid. Oh yeah, this thing was like warping back and forth. If this is in green, yo, that's straight Gumby. Yo, how many of you guys remember Gumby? <laughs> yo, actual Gumby here? Wow. Uh, Twangoid. Oh, this thing is like strumming its like its harp inside of its mouth. And you can see its ring on the top too changes colors. Oh, black looks really solid. Uh, Wallopoid. Oh, this thing is like dancing, man. Oh, I love this guy. He's all over the place. He's dancing so hard at KK Bubblegum. Here's a were I. Oh, yeah, look, I love this thing. It's like a vase. You turn it around, it's like a vase or like a little, I don't know, paperweight. Looks good. Whistloid. Ooh, yeah, Whistloid looks good. Oh, green. Wow, that looks like a vase that you'd put in the corner. And Zypho Xylophoid? Yeah, making the xylophone sounds is really fun. Oh, so, so good. Yeah, I think the customization options are really great here. I'm a little bummed out that Brewstoid doesn't really have a customization. I mean, you could easily change up his clothes to be like his casual clothes, like you saw him on the island at first, right? Or maybe some other colorations. But hey, you know what? That's what we're gonna get. Well, there you have it, everyone. It's every single gyroid within the game, and we showed you the customization options, we showed you how to get them, and all their unique little sounds. Aren't they such great dancers? Oh my gosh, tell me about it. So that being said, let me know which one is your absolute favorite. Let me know your favorite sound one. Let me know your favorite designed one, your favorite customization option. I want to hear from you. So let's start ranking these right down below. You guys are the best. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next tutorial video. Take care.